hello friends so once again welcome to my channel and in this video today we will see how to perform division operation so to do this we will be taking one gate question this was there probably in 2020 so this question we are going to solve in this video so see the gate question says that consider three registers r1 r2 r3 that store numbers in i 754 single precision floating point format everything is given clear cut Assume that R1 and R2 contain the values in hexadecimal notation because writing in all 0, all 1 may be leading errors. So they have given us the 32 bit single precision numbers in hexadecimal format. Whenever the numbers are given in hexadecimal format, the number is preceded by 0 small x. So 0 x means what? Whatever is there that is a hexadecimal number. One digit requires 4 bits. So total 8 bit digits are there. 8 into 4, 32 bits, my single precision number. So R1 contains this and R2 contains this respectively. And the question is, if R3 contains the result of R1 by R2, then what is the value in R3? So basically, they are asking us nothing but how to perform a division operation. So let's do it. So see, first R1 is what? This value is given. So if R1 is this, then we will write the binary of this hexadecimal. So each digit we represent using 4 bits. So 4 means what? 0, 1, 0, 0. Why I am using different color? Because the first bit represents sign. Then the next 8 bits represents the exponent. And then next 23 bits represents the, uh, what is that? Mantissa. That we need to remember to solve this numerical. Race part is simple means how many bits for each of the field that we need to remember. So 4 is 0, 1, 0, 0. 2 is what? 0, 0, 1, 0. Another 2 is also 0, 0, 1, 0. Raised bits are 0, 0. So I am not writing all 0, 0 here. So see, whenever we have written the binary of it, we got to know the number is a positive quantity. And what is your exponent? See, this is your, this is your 8 bit exponent, the blue color. So it is 128 and this one is 1, 2, 4. 128 plus 4 is what? 132. So actual exponent is 132 minus 127. And what is your mentissa? This part. So it is nothing but 1.01. Then rest of the zeros you need not have to write. So see, it is nothing but 130. Whatever I have explained. S is 0. E dash is 132 minus 127. Where from I am getting 132? See this one. What is that? See this part. This part is what? 128 plus 4 is what? 132. 132 minus 127 because the excess 127 format we are using. So it is 5. And M is what? 1.01 .01 or table zeros are there. So this is the content of your R1. Right? Then what is the value represented? The value represented will be it is a positive quantity, 1 point this whole thing into 2 to the power 5. So if it is 2 to the power 5, I can bring the decimal point to the right. So it will become 101000 and this is nothing but 40. How come I got 40? 32 plus your 8. 32. This is 32 plus 8 is your 40. So this R1 is representing nothing but 40. Then next content we will see R2. So again, similar way, we have written the binary. So C means what? A means 10, B means 11, C means 12. 12 means what? 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4. The next two bits will be 0. This is C. 1 is 0, 0, 0, 1. 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0. They start 0, so no need to bother. So we have written it. Again, I have used the coloring to represent your sign, exponent, and your mantissa. We have seen that. Now see, the number is positive or negative? Obviously, the number is negative because this one is your 1. Then what is your exponent? This is 128 place and this one is at 2's place. 128 plus 2 is 130. And what is the actual exponent? 130 minus 127, that is 3. And then this part is representing your mantissa, right? So S is 1, E dash is 3. And mantissa is this one. We can see that. So what is the value represented? It is 1.01 .01, this, this, this into 2 to the power 3. 
So three places to the right, I'll bring the decimal point. It is 1010. Number is negative. So minus sign. And 1010 is what? 10. 8 plus 2. 1010. It is 2. It is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. So minus 10. Now we know the answer. R1 by R2. So it will be nothing but minus 4. 40 by minus 10 will be what? Minus 4. So it is minus 4. Now what is our point? To represent this result into IEEE. Right? We'll do that. So if we represent this result into IEEE, then what it will be? It will be 4 means what? 4 means 1, 0, 0. Where is your decimal point? Here only. Right? Then what I need to do? I need to bring the decimal point to the left by 2 position. So it will be 1.00 into 2 to the power plus 2. You know this. We have seen this in our previous videos. This is there. Then what is your exponent? Exponent will be 2 plus 127. That is 129. That is 128 plus 1 is 129. Number is negative. So S equal to 1. What is your mantissa? All zeros. All zeros. This is correct. Because see, special values means E dash should be all 0 or all 1. But for a normal number, M can be anything. E dash should not be all 0, all 1. Right? So this is a normal number and the value is this one. Now see, what we have to do? This combination we need to write in hexadecimal to match with our answer. So if we have matched this one with this, uh, means we have written the binary all this together, 4, 4 bits we have grouped together. So it is nothing but C080. C080 and then all other digits are 0. So this is the answer to your R1 by R2. So according to our gate question, what will be the solution? C080. So B is the correct answer, right? So this is how we can perform your division operation. Hope uh, this explanation is making your concept clear on your uh, division operation. And if you are getting from my explanations, then please do not forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And this much I will be discussing on your IEEE numbers. And then we will move to the next chapter. Thank you. Have a great day.